I'm going to discuss the imaging findings in pericardial and myocardial calcification, but I'm going to leave out a very big group, and that's the coronary artery calcification. This is a PA and lateral chest radiograph in a patient who has pericardial calcification. It is contiguous and is enveloping the left ventricle and going up across the left heart border. On the lateral view, it's both posterior, apical and anterior. Here is another example. Patient has got hyperexpanded lungs and you can see the calcification along the apex of the heart and overlying the left heart border. The CT of the same patient shows that uh, it's not concentric and is just involving this portion of the pericardium. Note that if you get calcification of the pericardium around the right atrium and around the entry points of the SVC and the IVC, this could lead to a clinical syndrome of constrictive pericarditis. There are various causes of pericardial calcification that you should know about. Previous pericarditis, uremic is a common cause, so too is inflammatory, usually connective tissue disease, so SLE, rheumatoid arthritis, and infective causes such as rheumatic fever, and classically TB. Don't forget, if you receive any trauma to the pericardium, either during surgery or uh, a traumatic uh, chest injury. This could lead to pericardial calcification. And post-radiotherapy can sometimes lead to focal pericardial calcification. This is a patient who has a triple lead pacing device. You see the three wires here. And the continuation of one of the wires you can see some calcification, which is at the apex of the heart. Uh, note that there is a large pericardial fat pad. This calcification is caused by a left ventricular aneurysm. Sometimes it's easy to see by altering the windows. Here is a different patient where the CT clearly shows a nice curvilinear rim of calcification and there is some internal thrombus adherent to the wall of the aneurysm. Most aneurysms are caused by a full thickness myocardial infarction. Here is another more subtle left ventricular aneurysm. Just see some rim calcification here. Note the heart is enlarged and there is a right pleural effusion with some changes of upper low blood diversion due to cardiac failure. Here is another case where the patient has both pericardial calcification and calcification in a left ventricular aneurysm. You occasionally see a curvilinear calcified lesion projected over the heart. This is a mitral valve ring calcification. On coronal CT it looks pretty much like the frontal chest x-ray and is almost always caused by previous rheumatic fever. Note also there is a calcified splenic artery aneurysm projected below the diaphragm. This is a, a rather unusual case. You can see an almost joined up concentric ring calcification in the position of the left atrium. The heart is enlarged and there is a single chamber pacing wire in situ. The lateral view confirms the posterior nature of this ring calcification. And this is a calcified uh, left atrial wall or so-called porcelain left atrium. It's sometimes uh, contiguous 
but there are small gaps in the calcification. Uh, rheumatic heart disease is said to be the commonest cause of this appearance, but it can occur in end-stage renal failure and in patients who've been subjected to mitral valve surgery.